Hi, my name is Abby Lynch and I'm the Teen Services Librarian here at the Brookfield Library here for another week of Teen Book Talks. And this week I am talking about books from our Margin Project collection, which lives when the library's open, right on that windowsill over there. And what the Margin Project um, collection is, it's a set of books that you can check out and actually write in while you read. You can write in the margins, you can draw some pictures. Um, as you read your book, you can annotate um, and put your thoughts and read other people's thoughts. So it's a fun thing um, to do. It's a little bit of a different way to read a book. Um, and I'm gonna recommend some of the books from the collection. And also one of the challenges for summer reading um, one of the reading challenges for teen summer reading this year is write in a book. And I know some people are averse to writing in their own books, which is fine. And obviously you don't want to write in a regular library book or a book that you borrow from a friend because it's, it's not yours. <laughs> but these um, dozen or so books that we have in the Margin Project collection are totally acceptable and encouraged to write in. So I will recommend some of those for you today. If you want to take Margin Project books on out via curbside, um, unfortunately you can't place the hold through the website because it would send you any copy from our consortium and we don't want you writing in non-Margin Project books. So the way to do it is to call our um, the library and talk to somebody at the circulation desk. You can call 203-775-6241. Let them know you're looking for a Margin Project book. And I will put in the video description um, the link to browse the collection online. You can still browse online, you just can't place your hold online. Again, you can call the library at 203-775-6241. And I'm gonna try and keep my uh, synopses short this week, and I'm actually gonna read some of the comments that have been written in some of the books. Um, so the first book that I'm going to uh, recommend from the Margin Project collection today is The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brockenbrow. In Seattle in 1937, two 17-year-olds, Henry, who is white, and Flora, who is African-American, become the unwitting pawns in a game played by two immortal figures, love and death, where they must choose each other at the end or one of them will die. So that's the game of love and death. And I'm going to read you some here. So some people choose to use funky colored pens. Um, they might underline or circle and leave comments. This one I'm going to read here is, oh, the other thing is we encourage people to keep their language library appropriate. And this comment deals with that. It says, I'm trying very hard to make my comments, quote, library appropriate because these men are such jerks. And then another one from this, see here, you can see two different people have written in it. There's pink comments, there's the black underlines. And the one I wanted to read here was, my eyes are sweating because this book apparently can get a little emotional, get a little misty. Another book from the Margin Project collection is Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. And this is a big award winner too. You can see all the medals it's got on it. Jason Reynolds is always very popular. Um, and it's a novel in verse. So the story's told through poetry, which leaves a lot of room in the book for marginalia. There are three rules in the neighborhood. Don't cry, don't snitch, get revenge. Will takes his dead brother Sean's gun and gets in the elevator on the seventh floor. As the elevator stops on each floor, someone connected to Sean gets on, someone already dead. Death by teenage gun violence, and each has something to share with Will. So this one's pretty, and a pretty intense story, um, but the I like about this one in the Margin Project Collection is that this has a lot of room to draw. So somebody actually who checked this out before did some illustrations based on each particular poem. So, you know, you're not limited to um, writing if you express yourself through drawing or even if you just wanna, you're inspired to doodle in the margins a little bit, that's a fun activity for these as well. The next book I'm going to um, talk about is Satellite by Nick Lake. This is more of a sci-fi. And in Satellite, born and raised on Moon 2, Leo and the twins, Orion and Libra, are finally old enough and strong enough to endure the dangerous trip to Earth. 
They've been parented by teams of astronauts since birth and run countless drills to ready themselves for every conceivable difficulty they might face on the flight. But has anything really prepared them for life on terra firma? And so um, this one actually has sort of an interesting style of writing. So there's a lot of comments early on about the writing style. So I don't want to do any spoilers here. But on this page, <laughs> this page had a lot of good comments on it by a couple of different people. Um, it says the Wi-Fi must be horrible. <laughs> Ew, why suspicious? And how's the food on moon? So, you know, all different sorts of things. You can comment on the story. You can comment on the writing. Um, you can comment on the characters and the character development. Um, and so there's a, we have about a dozen or so books in this collection and some of them have a lot of writing in them and some of them haven't been written in yet. People check them out, but maybe they don't write in them. Um, a lot of these books are also paperbacks. So if you like paperbacks, um, it's a good way to get them. Not all of them, but some of them are. Um, and so my next two suggestions are going to be books that are in the mar margin project collection, ready to be written in, but they haven't gotten any comments yet. So you could be the first one to uh, write in the margin project book. And the first one here is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. For nearly a century, the Nomial Vides women have tended the grounds and lush estate gardens of La Pradera. They have a tragic legacy. If they fall in love too deeply, their lovers vanish. When a strange boy appears in the gardens, he is a mystery to Estrella and to her family, but he is even more a mystery to himself. He knows nothing more about who he is or where he came from than his first name. As Estrella tries to help, help Fell piece together his unknown past, they uncover secrets as dangerous as they are magical. So this one is like a fantasy, storytelling, fairy tale um, piece. I always love their books. Anna Marie McLemore writes great books. Um, very rich descriptions and it's ready for you to comment on. And then the last book that is ready for you to comment on is one of my absolute favorite books. It's Warcross by Marie Lu, which is the first in a science fiction duology. Um, and it takes place in a world where everyone is wearing, um, I don't remember if it's contacts or glasses, but that puts you into a um, virtual reality game. And it really just supersedes the whole world, augmented reality. Everyone's living in this augmented reality world. And um, the, the main character is a bounty hunter in the game. So when teenage coder Amika Chan hacks her way into the opening tournament of the Warcross Champions, she glitches herself into the game as well as a sinister plot with major consequences for the entire Warcross empire. So she starts as a bounty hunter, she ends up as an accidental champion in the game and it's a really fast pace and it's really awesome. And again, this one's re ready for people to comment on um, in the Margin Project collection. So I hope this encourages you to try something different, try writing in your margins, try writing in our margins, and um, I'm curious to see how it goes. Take a picture, you can send it our way. We'd love to see it. Have a good day.